Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Jared Eldridge. I'm an Applications Engineer with Analog Devices IoT Platforms Group. Today, I'll be talking to you about CropConnect. CropConnect represents Analog Devices' vision for smart agriculture. The system is a wireless environmental monitoring solution for U.S. and European agricultural markets. It effectively delivers timely, actionable information, enabling farmers to make better use of natural resources and to better predict crop growing cycles. The system consists of a set of wireless sensor nodes, a gateway device, and the AD Connect cloud platform. Each wireless sensor node has a microcontroller, the ADUC M3029 Ultra Low Power Cortex M3, a radio, the ADF7030 1 Low Power Sub Gigahertz, as well as a suite of sensors temperature, humidity, ambient light, and orientation. The part wakes up once every 15 minutes, collects sensor data, stores that locally, and wakes up once daily to transmit a full data set to the gateway device. In this manner, it takes advantage of the ADUC M3029's ultra-low hibernate current of 750 nanoamps, as well as the radio's ultra-low hibernate current of 10 nanoamps. The system has been designed to be deployed easily in the farm, where field deployments may be battery operated for more than 10 years at a time, with 50 nodes connected to a single gateway up to a half mile from each other. Today I've brought with me a prototype. This was an early prototype deployed in farms in Massachusetts, assisting specifically with the growing of tomatoes. The system's been designed to work with any crop, but in this case we've effectively seen improvement in tomato crops. This prototype is connected to an iPad, which is acting as our gateway device. We're using Bluetooth Low Energy, and we're collecting a set of sensor data, transmitting that to the iPad, and once every 30 seconds, the iPad is connecting to the internet and transmitting that to the AD Connect Cloud Platform. And here we can see the results of that. In particular, we have raw data represented here on the left, and on the right, we have calculated synthesized results, specifically the vapor pressure deficit, which represents the difference between very humid, fully saturated air and the air we actually have nearby the plant. As vapor pressure deficit decreases, uh, the air becomes more moist. If it gets too low, the leaves in the plant may rot, and this represents a risk to the health of the plant. Growing degree days is, is a synthesized value representing how mature that plant is and helps a farmer understand when to harvest the crop. Thank you very much for joining me. For more details, please visit the URL in the description below.